Leo people! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jade. This is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. I'm going to clear the resonance. All right. All right, so this is gonna be for Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Okay, check your placements. Take what resonates, leave what does not. We're gonna get some animal spirit messages, okay? <clears throat> and I'll look at those, and then we're going to look at some tarot and some bird messages to kind of close out the reading. So, I do appreciate it when you guys subscribe. So let me see here. Angel Spears and Guides, show me what I need to see if I go to my Leo people for September. Give me three for September for Leo, please. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the Badger Spirit. Uh, be fearless and bold, and it is a four. Wow, followed by 58. Okay, which, which again reduces down to a 13 to a four, so four, four. Stag Spirit says, take the lead. Be fearless and bold with the badger. Take the lead with the stag. And use your mind wisely. Okay, this is the pig spirit coming out. Uh, 47, which reduces down to an 11. So we have 4, 4, 11. And on the very bottom is Groundhog Spirit, Time to Let Go, card 31, which is another four. There is something that you might need to speak up about or notice. Something that... Um, that might need your focus or attention, right? It could have to do with um, some type of dream, some type of something you thought would never happen. With this pig spirit, flying pig. So four, four, four. Four is our master numbers. It, it indicates stability, um, and it, uh, eleven is a master number as well. Wow, okay, so those were your animal messages, okay, let's see, it may relate to the rest of the tarot story, it may not, it might just be a separate message, those could be totem animals, spirit animals, animals we need to consider, think about. But badgers are, uh, they're very tenacious, they're not afraid to go after what they want. And neither are stags, actually. Come to think of it. All right. So for Leos, for the highest good, please. I'm gonna do a kind of a Celtic cross cross spread. It's one I've kind of altered a bit for my own needs. So angels, spirits, and guides, show me what I need to see for the highest good for Leo. Okay. Boom. There you are, Leo. King of Wands, looking good, looking fiery, action taker, passionate, right? A go getter is very good energy. Give me the higher self, please. The higher self for Leo. Okay, three of pentacles. So there could be something you're learning, something you're working on. And here is your lower self, nine of pentacles. So you are looking good. Um, notice she's having this this bird come and land on her um and these are three groundhogs didn't we get a groundhog that came out yeah it was on the bottom of that deck interesting um all right wow the next card i was going to ask for is the recent past we have the devil here temperance on the bottom 
near future. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups. Alright, what is the obstacle? What is the obstacle or... Thank you. Wow. The Empress. And the Temperance is still on the bottom. Let me take a look at this here. All right, so All right. So there's something about your recent past here with this with this devil. Some type of toxicity or obsession. And it's interesting because both of these women in this card have red hair. So does this one in your lower, uh, that, that's coming up on your lower self here. And then in the near future, we have Eight of Cups, Queen of Coins, right? You might be walking away from, from toxicity to something more loving, more kind, more generous, more empathic. But... The obstacle or, or whatever you're, you're supposed to overcome here is the Empress. So it could be um, birthing this new cycle, right? Um, coming into some type of new energy, um, or, or there could be some type of toxicity you've had to walk away from. It could be the mother of your children, okay? No offense, does not have to be take it how it resonates, okay? But I see an empress here. It, it's coming up on the obstacle. Um, and we have a redhead, a blonde, and a dark-haired. Three feminine here. These masculine, I believe these two are the same. Okay, this is you, Leo, right? King of Wands. These guys both have blue eyes. It just looks like, um, at one time, uh, facial hair might be growing your facial hair out in the future. Could be something you're thinking about. Either way, I see this as you, but I see all these feminine energies here. There could be three different people you're talking to, trying to kind of figure things out, figure out where you're headed, where you're going. All right. We have Temperance, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. All right. So be patient, keep kind of feeling out and, and reaching out and there's going to be some type of opportunity here. You might have your guard up a little bit. there's definitely I feel like you're ending up putting up barriers against somebody because you're realizing they are sneaky shady you're ending something here and going towards some type of um, new opportunity wish fulfillment um, it's bringing in justice and it's, it's seven of cups seven of cups is like it's, it's, it's going to be different for all of you so there's all these different options and different things. Yeah. I feel like you've got the world in your palms here. You're, you're going to have a lot of opportunities and options to be happy here. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So... 
Let's see. Can I have home and family, please? Two cards. Home and family. Okay. So we have King of Pentacles and the Moon. Okay, King of Pentacles is somebody who is financially um, dependable, responsible, fatherly. Um, this moon, I do want to point out, it landed right on top of this Queen of Cups. I feel like you might not know who this person is yet, um, although you may. Wow, I just dropped everything. Okay, give me career and finance, please. Two of Swords and Temperance. So there could be some type of crossroads, or you could be waiting for a settlement, waiting to settle something, figure something out, and you might not be sure how it's going to end. Just be patient. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Um, yeah, uh, be patient. Don't lose your temper. I have two for love, please, for general. Okay. That works. Wow. Queen of Cups and the world. This could be somebody that you, that is either exiting your world, is going to be coming into your world. This could be somebody you meet at work as well. Interesting. All right. Six of Swords is on the bottom. Again, Temperance. We have um, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, Sagittarius. Wow. All right, what am I doing? Okay, let me get some, some further advice or any guidance. This deck for Leos, please. Temperance again. Three times temperance. Okay, so temperance is balancing your fiery passions with your watery emotions. Yeah, you're, you're being patient and, and having a lot of balance because three of swords, three of wands, nine of pentacles. painful betrayal. Yeah, so you're moving forward on some type of new path here. Investing in yourself, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and moving forward here with the Chariot. After this, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, Three of Wands. You're going to see this, this new path and really work on yourself, your own abundance, your own stability. Queen of Swords is discerning. She cuts out whatever needs to be cut out. Quick like, right? Quick and like slick or something. <laughs> okay. So, let's see here. I'm going to get three bird messages. Okay, thank you. That was quick. Ah, the Roman tufted goose. Take heed of those who give warnings. Take heed of those who give warnings. So, and then we have the Avo set. Devotion overcomes setbacks. Okay, and then finally the Blackbird um, be, which is, no, I don't, I wanted that on the bottom still because I had stopped. All right, open to psychic awareness to recognize portents of the future. So, um, yes. Take heed of those who give warnings. I feel like, um, once again, this could be a third party dynamic. This could be somebody trying to warn you, trying to tell you. Um, this devotion, what, whoever is trying to help you see this or reveal this, um, 
it also could be a family member, a child that is trying to show you or something or have you see something and be open to the psychic portents of the future, okay? On the bottom is the Hwatsin, I think. That's how it's pronounced. And that one says, flourish through maintaining tradition, okay? So, those are your messages for your general reading for December, Leo. I hope it was helpful. I hope I provided some insights. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right, much love to you all. Bye.